the second uh, highest question on the channel um, relates to innovation being a priority for senior leaders. At the very beginning of your presentation, I think you mentioned that UNFPA has established um, innovation as a corporate priority. And people are wondering, how does that manifest itself in practice? How are, how, is, how are leaders providing cover or encouraging and incentivizing innovation in the organization? That's a good question. Um, and certainly, um, because we're, as a UN um, entity, where there are some, we're, we're, we're very hard, I mean, across the UN, we're, we're extremely hierarchical. But when senior management says it's a, it's a corporate priority when senior management often speaks about innovation and and encouraging and encourages staff to to do things differently. I think that has um, made a strong statement to the rest of the organization that we can't keep doing the same of of what we're doing. So I so with that, um, in addition to having innovation of of a frequent topic among the executive management about how to do things differently, whether the supports in place. Um, we're, we're looking at primarily activating um, below, well, senior management being executive offices and all the senior leaders of, of, of the organization, but ensuring that, that the heads of offices recognize that they need to enable staff and create the space, um, dedicated space so that staff can think through in what, how innovation could be leveraged in their day-to-day -day work. So in practice, that could entail um, um, Monday motivation mornings where staff come together and talk through well, what, what, what are their existing challenges and how innovation or what it, what's new out there that can be integrated into their program. I think there's some senior or heads of offices that are instituting this practice. Um, a few of our regional offices, I'm going to highlight our Eastern Europe and Central Asia office has been a real trailblazer in, in doing staff capacity, capacity strengthening, bringing heads of offices to, to go through workshops and to, to really um, ensure that's, that their teams make the time to, to approach country program development or interventions differently. So really encouraging them to seek out new partnerships, um, to integrate design thinking into their interventions, et cetera. So I've seen that across the organization quite a lot. And at regional um, leadership meetings, innovation is often the subject, um, a session where, where senior leaders will, or where the heads of offices will come through and, and think through what, what needs to change in their, in their country office or in their teams so that they can give the space to to innovate. So those, those are just a few highlights anecdotally of what I'm seeing. Um, and I'm really encouraged because, because I think when we know in this constant, um, in this current time for the organization and for sexual and reproductive health, um, we need to always be on the cusp, on the, um, at the cutting edge of what needs to be done because our, our mandate is so special and it's sensitive and um, we need to always be constantly looking for, for new approaches to, to make the difference in the lives of, of the people that we work with at, at the field level.